Hello again guys. Today I want to show you how to uh, flash the system named Koriki on this free 5xx device. In my opinion Koriki is best one because you really improve the performance on many games and also you can play PSP games. I want to show you how to do it from the beginning as I'm doing this every time in every single my guides. Okay, let's go guys. First of all, of course, what we need to do, we need to download Koriki system. Of course, I will show you a link on the description. That's from GitHub. Uh, we open it, then you need to scroll down. This is from like 16th of November. It's nothing, uh, nothing newer after. Probably there will be, but at this moment, this is the newest one, which one been just released. Okay, scrolling down, and we've got the uh, file name Koriki RG3XX version blah 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 TGZ. That's what we need to download because this is just for update. This is from beginning. Once you click it, as you see, it just downloads in the system. It depends on the speed of your internet, of course. For me, it's about one minute. Okay, guys, this will done. Uh, we need to plug in new card onto our PC computer. That's my adapter link on description. I've got 32 gigabytes of uh, Samsung card, which will be for that particular system. I'll plug that in. Then I need to format that because uh, that one been used before. Format a volume. For me is that one generic mass storage class. Create a volume. Label Koriki 35XS. Uh, you can put any name you want from that card. I'll put XFAT, size, don't need to change anything, then format. As we see here, it's been already formatted as Koriki 35XX. We need to open the program named Balena. I don't know how to call it. Either, each chair, doesn't matter. But that one, I'll put the link in the description how, where to download it. Balena, each chair, then flash from file. I've got here on downloads. I need to change for all. Koriki, we've got that version. Click twice. Then select target. Our target is generic mass storage, which is our card, which one been uh, formatted by XFAT. Select, then flash. Yes. And now our program named Balena, whatever I call this one, uh, is flashing that system to our new card. It's gonna take three minutes, 20 seconds around that in my, in my card. Uh, this speed is depends of, of your card speed. My card is not the fastest one. The Samsung, which one I've got, I've got few years. I was using for something different, but uh, I just showing you how it's gonna work, uh, Koriki on that device. Flashing is almost done. Just few seconds left. Okay, job done. Now it's just validating. It's checking. This program is checking is everything is fine and everything is correct. But this is very quick. Okay, flash complete. Successful target. Everything fine. No problem at all. That's it on PC. About that card. Alright, next step. We need to plug that card in onto this uh, slot. The first one. That side, no, this one. Click the reset button and turn on the device. Okay, first screen turn up. They will take a little bit longer, 
because it's the uh, first boot, uh, as you see. We will wait a little bit. Okay, that's where we are. Which one is B? Okay, we haven't got any games, as we know about that. Okay, Cory Key is, is done, as you see. Okay, all seems to be okay. Uh, basically, I will use the second slot, the card which one I have with the Garlic OS, and it's supposed to recognize the games or Koriki also. Yeah, <clears throat> it recognized my my uh, second car original card from garlic os but uh, to be fair it took me about two minutes just on black screen to turn on this uh, this particular menu okay we'll go to handhelds this is visible what we've got yeah looks like everything is working fine Handhelds consoles. All right. Yeah, all okay. All okay. It's working fine. We will try to any game. What can be Crash? I like Crash. Okay, all done, all done guys, uh, hopefully I'll help, uh, to be fair you can create more uh, folders like PSP or whatever, but what I'm doing, what I'm gonna do now, the 64 gigabytes cards, I'm gonna copy to my 128 gigabytes fresh card on my PC and I will add the folder of PSP and I will show you guys PSP games how it's working on that particular device that will be in the next video all right guys that's it from me for today have a good day as as every time and have some fun